We're standing now in one of Protosphere's virtual classrooms, and I'd like to review some of the basic navigation and communications features with you. The Protosphere interface is comprised of four main areas. You've got the menu bar, the button bar, the 3D window, and the communications bar. The menu bar consists of four drop-down menus, File, Locations, Tools, and Help. The File menu allows you to exit the application at any time. The Location menu lists various places you can visit in your implementation of Protosphere. For example, if you click on Classroom 201, your avatar will be transported to Classroom 201. This transport is commonly referred to as teleporting. Protosphere features a variety of classrooms and meeting rooms to accommodate groups of all different sizes, from one-on-one -on -one meetings to large classes and panel discussions. The Tools drop-down menu gives you access to tools that allow you to customize the look of your avatar to create your virtual identity, fill out a user profile, search for other live users based on criteria such as job title or core competency, open a shareable whiteboard, start the application sharing feature to share documents with other users, access the internet, and change your vantage point. There are three vantage points for you to choose from. First person, which is allows you to navigate through the virtual environments as if you're actually there, seeing with your own eyes. Chase cam, which allows you to see your avatar on your computer screen. And mirror mode, which allows you to see the front of your avatar so you can see what you look like and what you're wearing. Finally, the last menu item, Help, allows you to view Protosphere's interactive help guide. The button bar consists of five buttons, Campus, Classroom, Courseware, Users, and the Dashboard. The Campus button allows you to return from any location back to the main campus with a click of a button. By clicking the Classroom button, your avatar will teleport from its current location to the lobby outside of the main classrooms. The Courseware button gives you access to a library of available e-learning modules. The Users button will allow you to see the names of other employees currently logged in and where they're located. The Dashboard button will open your dashboard and will allow you to participate in simulated training activities and ask questions during live training classes. The Communication panel down here consists of four areas, Information, Text Chat, expressions, and audio controls. The information panel displays information from the instructor or meeting leader. The text chat panel allows you to text chat with other logged in employees. You can send a message to the entire group or to a specific individual. The expressions panel allows your avatar to express itself using nonverbal communication. Some of the expressions are agree, disagree, raise hand, shrug, timeout, and point at hand. The audio controls feature a speak button that allows you to speak to other employees using voice over IP. This panel also allows you to adjust the volume of your speakers and microphone. These tools are at the core of Proton Media's philosophy of informal learning. You communicate with other employees during formal training sessions and you use Protosphere to refresh your knowledge or simply collaborate with your coworkers anytime you like, 24-7.